Big Ten November weather as it should be. Welcome to ESPN College Football on ABC, presented by K Jewelers. And the second part of our Big Ten East showdown doubleheader. Rain falling, temperatures dropping here in Columbus as the undefeated Buckeyes collide with the 9-1 Spartans of Michigan State. Both teams control their destiny for this division, and they believe for the college football playoff. Ohio State in good position, but Michigan State, if they win out, should be no lower than fifth and potentially in that top four bracket. So the stage is set. Chris Fowler and Kirk Herbstreit will talk about the many plot lines, but Kirk, the headline has to be bad news for Michigan State. It appears that Connor Cook, their quarterback who has 32 wins in his career, will not be able to play a role in this game. The Ohio native slammed down last week against Maryland, didn't return for the second half, didn't throw much this week, in obvious pain, a huge disappointment for him. Sparty, big underdogs, without their quarterback, their leader, to kick off here in the horseshoe. Kevin Cronin to boot it away. Curtis Samuel is deep. Option look. Barrett, a keeper, hit hard and knocked down. That was Lawrence Thomas, the defensive end. Recent years, third and long against the Spartans has been trouble, but this has been a trouble spot for this defense, allowing conversions. Barrett will roll, keep it again, and will be stopped short. So Chris Fry came up from his linebacker position. The Buckeyes go three and out. You're losing Connor Cook, 32 and four. And now instead of Damian Terry, by the way, it's going to be that kind of game. I think they're going to be flipping back and forth. Tyler O'Connor instead comes into junior. Terry was in the huddle, and then O'Connor trotted out. So he's making his first start. Gerald Holmes is the tailback, and he's got it. The sophomore who's emerged as one of the workhorse is still fighting for yards, knocked down after a very determined first down run. Yeah, he sure did. He did not give up on that. Nobody wrapped him up. Spartans have been a very good third and short defense. Mentioned before, not very good in third and long this year. Barrett running, gets the corner, brought down. What a tackle. Flying up was Monty Nicholson, the safety to deny a first down. Second and four. Scott stutter steps and moves the chains again across the 40. Our guys rush for Bosa dropping back. The completion on the far side and a crucial first down to Aaron Burbridge. O'Connor this time has time, pushes the ball downfield, coming out of bounds, and then back in was Burbridge. We saw that on the other end. Was he forced out? They're going to oh. call this a good catch. That inside the 30. 36-yard gain on third and 14. Holmes from the eye formation. Makes a cut. Nice gain of Holmes. Bangs for about 10 yards on the left side before Darren Lee forced him out. Two tight end look on second and one. Holmes just emerges from the scrum down at the 12-yard line. It's first down Michigan State. Kings in motion. They fake it to him. O'Connor fires to the end zone. Catch made down near the pylon by Trevon Pendleton. Touchdown, Michigan State. The fifth-year senior fullback, one of the Ohioans on this roster with just his fourth catch of the season and a great effort. Buckeyes from the 25. And again, that, that front of Michigan State with support from that excellent linebacking group really playing well. In, in Michigan State's defensive line, I said it on the first series, they are the, the real deal. They're athletic, they're confident, and they attack the line of scrimmage. And the linebackers are coming downhill. And I think Ohio State, again, they're going to have to make plays in the pass game to be able to move the ball consistently. Barrett looked briefly to throw, now tries to run and cannot escape as Reschke cleaned it up, but Shalik Calhoun was quickly off the edge as well. And third and 17, empty backfield. Barrett flips it across the middle, too high for Jalen Marshall. It was high and behind him. And the Buckeyes go three and out, and momentum swinging to the Spartan side now. Season. 
On second and ten, shovel pass into heavy traffic and nothing there. Just completely clogging the middle. That was Vanette who got it. Yeah, they're, they're waiting for that. that. That's reading your scouting report and understanding it. And the shuffle pass with the line and Jones. It's one third and nine. Option look. Barrett slips a tackle. He'll be knocked down short of the first down by five yards. Riley Bulla. There's some grumbling from the Ohio State fans. Another punt coming up. 38 seconds to go on this third and five. They fake it to Samuel. Barrett will now flip it to him in the flat. And he's knocked out of bounds short of the first down by Darian Hicks, the Ohio native who's been waiting a year for this game because of some mistakes that he made in last year's home loss. But the Spartan defense does their job again. Connor made a change in the play clock at one as he snaps it. Holmes has a little gap, ran through the arm tackle of Bosa and moves the pile for a first down. Buckeyes have had the last three possessions be three and out with a total of two yards gained. Both Miller and Samuel in the slot. The Barrett's left on third down. He rolls that direction, pump fakes and delivers off the hands of Jalen Marshall. Bosa was out, now he comes back in on third and five. London is still the back. Terry, straight run again. Quarterback sweep, first down, midfield, steps out there. So, again, cautious, but that time effective. You wonder what Meyer and Beck and Ed Warner will think about calling in this drive. And that time Barrett is hammered immediately by Joel Heath, Greg Evans there. You know, That's it's easier to throw this direction into the wind of the fourth quarter. It's going to be a little tougher. Even. Yeah. They need three on third down. Empty backfield again. Bunch formation to the right. You wouldn't bet against a, a quarterback keeper here. And the Spartans are ready for it. They slam Barrett down short of the first down and some booze come out. Yeah, I mean, you saw it, I saw it, and you know who more importantly saw it? Harlan Barnett, Mark D'Antonio, and the Michigan State defense. They flip it back to Shelton, and the change of direction, and the receiver breaks loose. First down and more across the 40 before McMillan throw him out. on second and five sports free center set into the secondary and Michigan State moving another first down to the Ohio State 37 so now fourth and three O'Connor in traffic keeps it first down and more down inside the 20 O'Connor Straight keeper makes a cut first and goal. What great patience! Two tight end look. Holmes makes a cut, slips a tackle, and powers down to the two. Holmes the tailback, Pendleton in the backfield. It's Holmes. Met quickly, but spins and reaches for a touchdown. He'll take another look, but another great effort by Gerald Holmes. Yeah, I think he got across. You're right about the effort. He got hit right there by Tyquan Lewis. The knee is not touched until he breaks the plane. That looks like a touchdown to me. A 75-yard drive in 13 plays took six and a half minutes after Ohio State had cashed in the fumble punt for a touchdown. What a performance from this offense with two backup quarterbacks today. This team is playing with an edge to them. We heard all week about how upset they were. Took the one deep shot, the overthrow to Miller early on. Miller's in the slot to the left. And Barrett thought about it. Looking downfield now just throws into the bench under heavy pressure there by Lawrence Thomas and no flag. Well, it's really, really good coverage. Ohio State at 105 yards, Kirk through three quarters. No team all season, all of college football had the lead after three with that few yards. Elliott just nowhere to escape. Got a yard, but Thomas and Bulla closed it down. Buckeyes need nine on third down. Barrett 
Facing a blitz, delivers near side. Catch made by Van Nett, but not enough for the first down. They'll be four yards short. Brown trying to make it tough on the young quarterback. And a true freshman tailback, L.J. Scott, in the eye formation. Scott has it. And burst forward. Nice gain. Still running. Protecting the ball, but making yards up to the 24. Again, this is Scott and the freshman showing the strength. Again, uh, yet another Ohioan on this roster. Highly motivated to play. Hart Parker. Driving Marshall back. He'll just let it bounce. And now it's Michigan State's turn to do a nice job in coverage. Ohio State backed up at their seven. 5.49 left. It's Marshall in motion. Quarterback looking to throw from his end zone. Looking for Thomas downfield. Jump ball broken up. Almost intercepted. Arjun Kolkun was in coverage there. And that's the problem with throwing into a stiff wind. Thomas never had a chance. And swirling around now. Eric knocked down again. John Reschke, the linebacker who moved over to the strong position when, when Ed Davis got hurt preseasons, played a terrific game. And if they can't get a first down here, Johnson's going to have to kick into this wind. And Michigan State could get excellent field position. But they gamble a bit. It's Miller on the toss. Makes one man miss. Cannot escape. Braxton Miller knocked down at the 11. Riley Bullock. Demetrius Cox. And more grumbling from the crowd now. Now it's Riley Bulla who does a good job of containing the speedy Braxton Miller, number 30. But you also see Demetrius Cox get involved right there. Bulla gets him to force him back to the inside where Cox and the rest of the white Spartan jerseys are waiting for him. And the Buckeye fans will hold their breath. Cameron Johnson, excellent punters, already had a crazy low punt earlier in the game. It's Shelton at midfield. And that kick just knocked down by the wind. Actually, the ball was touched there by Malik. A uh, big defensive tackle there, M Malik McDowell. McDowell. Wow. Got a hand on that ball. They've been pressuring Johnson all afternoon. Yeah. I totally agree. This is a team that had the chip back in its shoulder after their controversial late loss in Lincoln. And this is the Michigan State team you sort of expect to see all on year. defense. Yep. Yep. Second and eight, got to hurry. Play clock at one. O'Connor delivers complete far side. Burbridge can't escape. Knocked down a yard short of the marker by Apple. Scott in the game. Deep in the eye on third and one, but it's a keeper. O'Connor has got it. How about a surge right there on third and short? This has just turned into a rugby game, hasn't it? <laughs> First down. Two ten to play. Scott hammers to the 30, and the clock becomes a major component here. Ohio State wondering if they're going to see the football again, frankly. Final minute. Scott again, spins, leaves, first down Michigan State. Scott makes a cut, but McMillan lets him go no farther than the 23. Von Bell combining, and the clock ticking down, 13 seconds. Interesting that they had the ball in the middle of the field, and... Now they're on the right hash. Very, very different. Very, very different. And Michigan State will have to wait and wonder whether this junior can deliver a victory that would be extremely sweet for this team that entered the season with tremendous expectations off the Cotton Bowl win over Baylor. Guys like Cook and Calhoun came back because they believed this was potentially a national championship team. Haven't hit their high note all season, waiting for a complete performance.
He's still got a timeout, Kirk. If Meyer wants to freeze Geiger again, he can, but he's not standing no. next to the official. Now this is it. Geiger from 41 for the win. Michigan State, as gutsy as it gets, spoils senior day, snaps Ohio State win streak, and takes command of the Big Ten East behind two backup quarterbacks and an Ohio native kicker and a tremendous defense. Pretty incredible to think that L.J. Scott's last run moved the ball from the middle of the field to the right hash and Geiger would probably be the first one to tell you he didn't necessarily hit that ball the cleanest that he's ever kicked a field goal and it had a little bit of a spin on it it was moving to the left in a hurry and if that ball's not on the right hash I don't know if it goes through the uprights but it went it ended up getting through and I'll tell you Tyler O'Connor deserves so much credit for the effort and what he did replacing the quarterback Tyler Cook from Tabor Pepper Matt Maxwood with the hold and Geiger knocking it through and then he did about a 22 windmills of the right arm running down the field that has about as sweet as it gets for a kicker back in his home state to beat Ohio State up in Toledo went to Ottawa Hills High School up in northwest part of the state of Ohio and can imagine he's dreamed about an opportunity like this his whole life and Michigan State Kirk continues to be one of those programs that when they are counted out or doubted just steps up and delivers again and again and this one stings for Urban Meyer this would be the second potential national title shot denied by Michigan State and what's been a brilliant four years here for Urban to Heather Cox all right Chris coach congratulations on the win you come in as an underdog you guys played with a chip on your shoulder and prepped all week that way without your starting quarterback how did you guys get it done yeah no, we just keep reaching higher I guess you know we just keep talking about it just be mentally tough and we said coming into this uh, year that we needed to reach higher and this was the day we had to do that chips are a little bit against us and I thought the one thing that made a difference you know we've been chased all year long so far in 10 games in this game we got to be the chaser so we could chase this game and so we could play on emotion. And it seemed like a lot of that came from your defense. Amazing to think that they held the Ohio State Buckeyes to under 150 yards. How were they able to, to really limit anything that the Buckeyes could do on the field? First thing we had to do was win up front on both sides of the ball, and I thought we did that. Second thing we had to do was allow no explosive plays. Obviously, we gave away two turnovers, but uh, big turnovers, but we rallied back, and that's just an attitude, you know, we rallied back. You said that all of your goals are in front of you. How does this win help you achieve those goals? Well, I think if we win the next game, we're going to the Big Ten Championship game, so that's a start. Coach, and a quick prognosis on Connor Cook and his availability for next week. Well, we hope, we hope uh, I think he'll be back, you know, but it's a it's a day-to-day -day thing. You know, the human body can do amazing things with it. We'll let you enjoy this win, Mark. Congratulations. So Spartan Nation. Total team win for O'Connor in that defense. AT&T strong performance. Looking at strong defense for Michigan State. Five first downs for Ohio State. 132 total yards. Meyer will certainly be criticized for the game plan. Very few downfield throws, but Michigan State's defense had, had the answers for everything they tried today. You know, we've talked all year with Ohio State about their potential and, and could they ever live up to their potential and we said two things are going to happen either they're going to start to live up to their potential offensively and show that they can throw the football or they're going to lose the game and today we kept waiting like we've waited all year for them to throw the ball we never saw the balance we never saw the threat downfield and against a great defense like Michigan State who is just attacking downhill against the Ohio State running game. There's just nothing that they could do as far as creating rhythm on the offensive side. All the FBS teams this year, the Buckeyes 132 yards is in the bottom 10 offensive performances all season long by teams in the FBS. And Michigan State, D'Antonio knows it, they're right. They play Penn State at home next week, win that, win the division, 
go to Indy with perhaps a real chance to make a late rush like Ohio yeah, State yeah, did last absolutely. year and get in the bracket. And we, we talked before they ended up winning this game about how it wasn't just about Ohio State coming into this game. They're in the top 10. They have a lot of teams that are ahead of them that are going to lose football games. And by beating Ohio State, a team that's up in the top three, you knock up Ohio State. The committee is paying attention to that, especially in Columbus, especially without your quarterback. Now you have Penn State, and then you maybe get an undefeated Iowa. As teams ahead of them lose, if Michigan State keeps winning, despite the loss in Lincoln, they're going to have a real shot to get back to where their ultimate goal was. Absolutely. Just a complete gritty performance here. You got the true freshman from Ohio making the runs in the last couple drives. The kicker from Toledo knocking through the winning field goal. A moment he'll never forget. And for Kevin O'Connor, his fourth year in the program, you do all the studying, you watch all the tape, you prepare for a moment like this when the starter goes down. For everybody out there, Kirk, who, who prepares and wonders if they'll get their chance, this was a game for them. I don't, I don't think you really put into words how tough it is to imagine losing a quarterback that's a three-year starter who is 32-4, and four, the winningest quarterback in the history of the school, and Connor Cook is signaling in plays. That was his role today. Still provided emotional leadership. But Tyler O'Connell, Damian Terry, boy, they will go down forever remembered as the quarterbacks that led Michigan State to a big win in Columbus against number three, Ohio State. Spartans stun the Buckeyes, take command of the East, and step very much into the playoff picture. 17-14 is the final in the horseshoe. Tonight on ABC, playoff contender Oklahoma against TCU, presented by Walmart. For Kirk Herbstreit, Heather Cox, and our entire crew, Chris Fowler is saying so long. The scoreboard and John Saunders coming up right now.